Hello guys, Pat here from Pixino Studio and today I'd like to show you guys how to translate a lot of the website because I know a lot of people are wondering how to translate things like you know the main categories, the subcategories and so on. I do understand that a lot of you guys know about the feature in the admin panel you know where you go to um, languages, view language, hit settings and translate the strings. Yeah that does a lot of the translating however there are a lot of items that need to be translated in a different way you know items such as the categories the subcategories you know items in the terms and condition page and so on and so forth and the reason we made it like this was because um, these items are actually added by the admin that manually added by the admin and in order to translate whatever the admin has added the admin has to use a different system that we implemented to do that and that's what I'm gonna show you guys right now all right, so let's go ahead and actually gonna click on God. Let's actually go ahead and go to the admin panel. Now, in order to do uh, the translating um, for items like the categories and so on, we actually have to obviously add a new language. So basically, if you see right now, we have just English. So we gotta add a, a new language. So we're gonna hit on insert language. So here we're gonna choose French gonna upload a flag then we're gonna insert this new language alright now so we've added French so now as you can see we have both English and French now a lot of people know about this section where you hit settings and you translate the strings but that actually doesn't translate um, you know work for items like the categories now if if we go back to the main website and we scroll to the bottom and you know here if we actually refresh the page now we see the new language we've added if we click on French if you notice all the content is gone the content is not actually gone per se it's actually uh, it's actually not showing just because we haven't translated it yet it's actually there but we just have to you know actually translate it we have to put the uh, French version of uh, you know the English version so right now it's empty but I'm gonna show you guys how to now translate the um, the items in the main category and subcategory. So in order to do that, we actually head to um, category, choose view categories. Now, in order to do a translate translation here, it's very important to take note of the category ID. So as you can see here, each category has a unique ID. So you have one, two, three, four, and so on and so forth. And every category ID is linked to a particular title. So basically one is linked to graphic and design, two is linked to, linked to digital marketing. So basically this means that whatever you trans, if you're translating it to French, whatever you put for category ID one has to be a direct translation you know from graphic and design to whatever you put in French so in order to translate this we actually scroll to the bottom where it says change language and here we're gonna choose French so when we do that as you can see it's gonna change so now every item here is empty and that's just because we changed it to French and again take note of the category ID because remember one represented graphic and design two represented digital marketing so now we're gonna actually hit edit and actually enter the French version now so uh, the first one was uh, so let's actually actually go back to English so as you can see so it's graphic and design so we're gonna change it to uh, translate it to French so we're gonna add Conception, Conception Graphic. So uh, we put that there, uh, you know, for the description, we can just put, you know, some Lord Ipsum text. And we hit Update Category. So as you can see, now we have the French version. So if we go here and we translate it back to French, 
as you can see now it's the French equivalent here the French uh, translation here so now you see there's nothing for subcategories and we're actually going to translate a subcategory now it's the exact same process so if we go to subcategory and we hit again always remember that if you if you keep going to other pages, it's always going to stay in French. So if I go to view subcategories, as you can see, it's all empty just because it's in French. But if we go back to English, it's going to show the items in English. And now pay attention. I said it was very important to take note of the, you know, the category ID and the subcategory ID just because it represents that category. You know, so if we go back to English, We can see here that um, the category, the subcategory for the first subcategory for graphic and design is logo design. So take note, it's logo design. So if we go back to the admin and we go to the last page, we see that logo and design is, uh, you know, it's represented by two. So it's represented by two business cards and stationery is represented by one. So um, this one right here. So always take note of the subcategory ID. So if we go back to French, so we remember that two represented the, the logo design. So we're going to click and we're actually going to translate that. Then we can paste in Lauren Ibsen here. And this is the one we translated to French. You know, the other ones are not visible just because we didn't create content for that in French yet. So for now, we created just this one. So we're going to update subcategory. If we go back to 10, as you can see, it's right here. And if we go here, if we um, change it back to French, As you can see, this appears here. So you have to do that for every all the items. You know that's kind of that's how you translate from one language to the other. Um, in terms of items that the admin manually entered in the admin panel. Okay, so now <clears throat> let's go back to English. Now, um, now the next question is how do we translate items in like terms and conditions so if we go to terms and conditions you see it's empty now just because we have no content for that yet this is a brand we have no content for for this yet so we're actually going to go ahead and add some content so we go here uh here we click view terms so it's empty we're actually gonna go back to english and we're gonna add some content. So here we're gonna type terms in English. Then for here, we're gonna add some Lauren Ibsen text. So, oh, by the way, uh, I've received a lot of questions here. A lot of people have tried to, uh, you know, edit their um, their terms here. They've tried to use some of the some HTML tags or you know uh, styles. Uh, to, you try to style some of their stuff and it, do, it doesn't work it doesn't work because if, in, if you click on the code view here and you paste your item you actually have to click back here before you actually add that item so if you just leave it here and you know you add your a link here and you hit add terms it's actually not gonna save this until you you know you exit out of the code view so basically if you Add some styling here, you know, do some uh, different HTML stuff here. You actually have to exit from the code view for it to work. All right, so this is the terms in English. So we're gonna hit add term. So as you can see, we have one item for terms in English. So right now it's in English. If we refresh this page we see this ad. So now if we want to add something, add the same thing but in French, we actually have to click, you know, toggle back to French. And if you notice it's empty here just because we haven't, you know, translated it into French. Then here we can do like terms in French and you know 
if I add this here, it's going to look like this. That's why I go to the code view. Then I go back. Then I hit add term. So this is the term in French. Uh, just an example. And so if we talk, if we refresh this page, and we toggle notice terms in English, uh, toggle to French, no terms in French, because that's what we set for the French one. So that's kind of how you translate uh, items that are actually manually entered by the admin. Let's go back to English. And let's head over to, you know, uh, customer support. So here we have these items. Uh, if we go to customer support, it's the exact same thing. So we go to support settings, and we have this here. It's, if we go back to English, it's going to show content here. If we toggle to French, then you can add whatever you want to add there. Now, I've also received a lot of questions about this item right here. Uh, a lot of people say they're changing their email in the general settings place, and it's not changing here. And that's because you actually have to change it right here. So we, the reason we added this section here is because a lot of people have separate emails from you know their main email. So basically, um, someone can have info at uh, webs your website com and you know decide to have another email address for support which is like support at you know your website com so we kind of give that flexibility you know that option for people to have like a separate support email um, so that's if you want to change the email there this is actually where you change it and this is you know in order to you know do it for the both languages uh, you just toggle here and you know Add the translation so that's kind of how that works um, so we're back in English so we're back in English here so that's how you translate items um, if we go if we go scroll down to um, sorry to languages we hit view languages so here if we click on um, this place right here so here we can actually translate a bunch of stuff you know this translate a, a, a lot of stuff in their um, on the website but obviously there are certain items on the website that still don't have you know like a way to translate them I'm just gonna quickly show you guys how to do that um, so in order to do that it's actually very easy so if you see here if you notice here you know we have welcome here we have a bunch of stuff here um, if you know the website there's a place called freelancers uh, if you look here there really isn't a way to translate freelancers you know and you know obviously um, as an owner of a website with, with different languages there's certain things you want to be able to translate so I'm gonna show you guys how to do this so you can do it for any other for all the other words that we you know we missed because it's actually pretty easy so items like freelancers all right so let's actually in order to do this we have to locate the file and in this case um, this is located in the header file which is you know includes header.php file um, so if we go there as you can see the freelancers is manually written in in order to translate it we actually need to um, delete this and you know pretty much copy something similar to this you know like paste it here then here we can just rename it to, to whatever something that you remember but I'm just gonna put freelancers and so we've named it now we're just gonna copy this right here make sure you know we copy it we copy this right here and just change it to freelancers just because we want people to be able to you know toggle to languages and you know it translates so we're gonna come here now we can paste it anywhere but we're gonna paste it here and we're gonna say again this is the one for French we can put anything you know I'm just gonna put hello pretty much I'll just put hello just to show you guys how it works so now that we've done it uh, for French we have to, we actually have to go back to the English and do the same thing so we go to settings because right now if I go to the website and you know refresh it's gonna disappear 
because it's not you know it has no content with the English section uh, so we're just gonna paste this here and we're gonna name it freelancers and we're gonna hit update alright so now if we refresh uh, actually let's see it's probably an issue somewhere oh, sorry mm, let's hit settings oh okay don't uh, it's a good thing we had this error don't don't forget the semicolon you know if you forget it it's gonna break the entire website so we're gonna hit update uh, let's make sure we didn't forget for the French steel. Oh, okay, so we're gonna have to put the semicolon here too. That's a very common um, mistake. All right, so we're gonna go back and refresh the page, and you see, you can see it's back, and we can see the freelancers. If we toggle now to French, as you can see, it's hello. So that's kind of how you translate more items on the platform. Alright guys, 